The King James Bible, the first book of Samuel, chapter 18. And it came to pass when he had made an end of speaking unto Saul, that the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him with his, as his own soul. And Saul took him that day, and would not let him go no more home to his father's house. Then Jonathan and David made a covenant, because he loved him as his own soul. And Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was upon him, and gave it to David and his garments, even to his sword, and to his bow, and to his girdle. And David went out whithersoever Saul sent him, and behaved himself wisely. And Saul set him over the men of war, and he was accepted in the sight of all the people, and was also in the sight of Saul's servants. And it came to pass, as they came to, when David was returned from the slaughter of the Philistines, that the women came out of all the cities of Israel, singing and dancing, to meet King Saul with tabarets, with joy, and with instruments of music. And the women answered one another as they played, and said, Saul hath slain his thousands, and David his ten thousands. And Saul was very wroth, and the saying displeased him. And he said, They have ascribed unto David ten thousand, and unto me they have ascribed but thousands. And what can, and what can he have more but the kingdom? And Saul eyed David from that day forward. And it came to pass on the morrow that the evil spirit from God came upon Saul, and he prophesied in the midst of the house. And David played with his hand as at other times, and there was a javelin in Saul's hand. And Saul cast the javelin, for he had said, I will smite David even to the wall with it. And David avoided out of his presence twice. And Saul was afraid of David, because the Lord was with him, and he was departed from Saul. Therefore Saul re removed him from him, and made him his captain over a thousand. And he went out and came in before the people. And David behaved himself wisely in all, the, all his ways, and the Lord was with him. Wherefore when Saul saw that he had that he behaved himself very wisely, he was afraid of him. But all Israel and Judah loved David, because he went out and came in before them. And Saul said to David, Behold, my elder daughter Merab, her will I give thee to wife. Only be thou valiant for me, and fight the Lord's battles. For Saul said, Let, let not my hand be upon him, but let the hand of the Philistines be upon him. And David said unto Saul, Who am I? And what is my life, or my father's family in Israel, that I should be son-in-law to the king? But it came to pass at that time when Merab, Saul's daughter, should have been given to David, that she was given unto Andriel, the Maholonite, to wife. And, Michael's, and Michael, Saul's daughter, loved David, and they told Saul, and, they, and the thing pleased him. And Saul said, I will give him her, that she may be a snare to him and that the hand of the Philistines may be against him. Wherefore Saul said to David, Thou shalt this day be my son-in-law in the one of the twain. And Saul commanded his servants, saying, Commune with David secretly, and say, Behold, the king hath delight in thee, and all his servants love thee. Now therefore be the king's son-in-law. And Saul's servants spake those words in the ears of David. And David said, Seemeth it to you a light thing to be the king's son-in-law, seeing that I am a poor man and lightly esteemed? And the servants of Saul told him, saying, On this manner spake David. And Saul said, Thus shall ye say to David, The king desireth not any dowry, but a hundred foreskins of the Philistines, to be avenged of the king's enemies. But Saul, Saul thought to make David fall by the hand of the Philistines. And when the servants told David these words, it pleased David well to be the king's son-in-law, and the days were not expired. Wherefore David arose and went, he and his men, and slew of the Philistines two hundred men. And David brought their foreskins, and they gave them in full tale to the king, that he might be the king's son-in-law. And Saul gave him Michal, his daughter, to, to wife. And Saul saw that she, she, and Saul saw that knew that the Lord was with David, and that Michelle, Saul's daughter, loved him. And Saul was yet. <coughs> and Saul was yet more afraid of David, and Saul became David's enemy continually. Then the princes of the Philistines went forth, and it came to pass, after they went forth, that David behaved himself more wisely than all the servants of Saul, so that his name was much set by. Chapter 19.
And Saul spake to Jonathan his son, and to all his servants, and that they should kill David. But Jonathan, Saul's son, delighted much in David. And Jonathan told David, saying, Saul, my father, seeketh to kill thee. Now therefore I pray thee, take heed to thyself until the morning, and abide in a secret place, and hide thyself. And I will go out and stand beside my father in the field where thou art, and I will commune with my father of thee, and what I see, and what I and that I will tell thee. And Jonathan spake good of David unto Saul his father, and said unto him, Let not the king sin against his servant, against David, because he hath not sinned against thee, and because his works have been to thee, to be, to thee were very good. And he did put his life in his hand, and slew the Philistine. And the Lord wrought a great salvation for all Israel. Thou sawest it, and didst rejoice. Wherefore, then wilt thou sin against innocent blood to slay David without a cause? And Saul hearkened unto the voice of Jonathan, and Saul sware, as the Lord liveth, that he shall not be slain. And Jonathan called David, and Jonathan shewed him all those things. And Jonathan brought David to him, all the, and, sorry, and Jonathan brought David to Saul, and he was in his presence as in times past. And there was war again, and David went out and fought with the Philistines, and slew them with a great slaughter, and they fled from him. And the evil spirit of the Lord was upon Saul, as he sat in his, in his house with his javelin in his hand, and David played with his hand. And Saul sought to smite David even to the wall with his javelin, but he slipped away out of Saul's presence, and he smote the javelin into the wall, and David fled and escaped that night. Saul also sent messengers unto David's house to watch him and to slay him in the morning. And Michelle, David's wife, told him, saying, If thou save not true, not thy life tonight, tomorrow thou shalt be slain. So Michelle let David down through a window, and he went and fled and escaped. And Michelle took an image and laid it in the bed and put a pillow of goat's hair for his bolster and covered it with a cloth. And when Saul sent messengers to take David, she said, He is sick. And Saul sent the messengers again to see David, saying, Bring him up to me in the bed, that I may slay him. And when the messengers were come in, behold, there was an image in the bed, with a pillow of goat's hair for his bolster. And Saul said unto Michelle, Why hast thou deceived me so, and sent away mine enemy, that he escaped? And Michelle answered Saul, He said unto me, Let me go, why should I kill thee? So David fled and escaped, and came to Samuel to Ramah, and told him all that Saul had done unto him. And he and Samuel went and dwelt in Naioth. And it was told Saul, saying, Behold, David is at Naioth in Ramah. And Saul sent messengers to take David. And when they saw the company of the prophets prophesying, and Samuel staying, standing as appointed over them, the Spirit of God was upon the messengers of Saul, and they also prophesied. And when it was told Saul, he went he sent other messengers, and they prophesied likewise. And Saul sent messengers again the third time, and they prophesied also. Then went he also to Ramah, and came to the great well that is at Sheku. And he asked and said, Where are Samuel and David? And one said, Behold, they be at Nioth in Ramah. And he went hither, thither to Nioth in Ramah, and the Spirit of God was upon him also. And he went on and prophesied seed until he came to Nioth and Ramah. And he stripped off his clothes also, and prophesied before Samuel in like manner, and lay down naked all that day and all that night. Wherefore they say, Is Saul also among the prophets?